Oh yeah, let's go. Welcome back everybody. Last week we unboxed a bunch of uh, parts for the car, a bunch of brake components. This week we're gonna start installing them. So let's get into it. All right, so quick look. We have new uh, rotors, we have pads, we have calipers uh, for the front, and then we have the brake shoes for the back. We're probably not gonna get into that this week, uh, but what I wanna do is install the rotors on the front. Uh, we don't have a, a lot of time today, so we're just going to get what we can done, and then the rest will be uh, probably next week's video. So let's get into it. First things first, let's jack her up. Let's take a look what's going on here. She's almost good. The one thing really, really stopping me is I need some headers. Uh, they need to be custom made. Everything is attached now in here, uh, so now I know at least the route that they have to go. But that is to come. Besides that, it's brakes, brake lines, fuel lines, installing the fuel, um, the fuel tank, and then we're good to go. So uh, I'm excited. Let's get to work. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. So these are the. Let me bump that up a bit. Right now, so, there we go. Uh, so these are the ones that are on there right now. Uh, they're. Uh, I don't know. I think they're fun to use. What do you think? I do agree. I think this is going to be really easy to just make a uh, an adapter plate for. Anyway, so let's get the new one. Get this off and uh, keep going. It sound right, boy. The flange on this hub is probably pressed into that. Got it. Kind of making some some progress here. The uh, the two are kind of pressed onto each other, so I think if we just keep going with this uh, with this strategy, it'll it'll come. Sound right, boy. So the next clip, which was the rest of the video, basically ended up being corrupted. Um, I, I tried recovering it. There was nothing I could do. We basically explained the rest of the process, separating the hub from the the rotor. Um, we did end up filming the other side just as a time lapse. So I'm gonna put that in there so you can see it. But uh, in terms of explanation, you don't get any more. I was almost not going to post this, but I figured I, you know, we went this far, so I might as well post it and, uh, and, you know, fill in the blanks uh, where I can. So in the next video, we will see uh, the rest of the brake stuff. So you'll still get some explanation there, but uh, enjoy this little time lapse of the, the driver's side of the car. Thanks again for watching. And uh, like I said, I hope, hope you enjoy this part.
We have the rotors in. I think that's where we're gonna stop for today. You can't really see, but they are back there and they're looking much nicer. These are the old ones. Uh, you know, could we probably turn them down? Yeah, but uh, I think new ones were uh, the way to go. So in the next video, we will be installing the uh, calipers and the brake pads and maybe the brake shoes on the back. Uh, but before I do that, I wanna make sure I have brake line uh, and run all of that. That way we can just do it in one go. So it might be the next video, might be a couple, but thanks for tuning in today, guys. I really appreciate it. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.